Hi guys, welcome back to Learn with Men Nuggets. In this video, we are going to learn about Coeser's law. Imagine a patient comes with obstructive jaundice. You do an abdominal examination to find if the gallbladder is palpable or not. Let's say the gallbladder is palpable. What could be the cause of obstructive jaundice? According to Coeser's law, if the gallbladder is palpable, then the cause of jaundice is unlikely to be due to gallstones. Let's see why it is as such. When there are gallstones in the gallbladder, the stones damage the wall of the gallbladder, which will result in fibrosis that will stiffen the gallbladder. Therefore, the gallbladder will not be able to distend, so you will not be able to palpate the gallbladder if the jaundice is due to gallbladder stones. But the bile duct will dilate due to accumulation of bile. If you can palpate the gallbladder in a patient with obstructive jaundice, then you have to be very careful because it can be due to a cholangiocarcinoma, a periampulary carcinoma or a pancreatic carcinoma. Now let's see why you can palpate the gallbladder in these cases. So when the obstruction is at the bile duct, such as in these carcinomas that I just mentioned, then the gallbladder is not fibrosed. So the gallbladder and the ducts, both of these will be dilated due to the accumulation of bile. Therefore, you can palpate the gallbladder in these cases. However, there are few exceptions to Coeser's law. In some cases, the gallbladder will be palpable and the cause is stones. These cases can be in a primary common bile duct stone. This is a rare case, but if the stone is in the common bile duct instead of the gallbladder, then the gallbladder will be able to distend and it will be palpable. Another condition is if there are two stones, one stone in the gallbladder and another stone obstructing the common bile duct. The single stone in the gallbladder will not be able to cause the fibrosis and stiffen the gallbladder. Instead, this single stone in the gallbladder will cause an inflammation. Therefore, there will be wall edema, pericholistatic fluid and the gallbladder will swell up so you can palpate it. And the stone in the common bile duct will cause obstruction and therefore obstructive jaundice. Another condition is Mirizzi syndrome. This is a condition where the cystic dust is short and also there is a stone in the cystic duct. So this short cystic duct that is obstructed with a stone will compress the common bile duct causing obstructive jaundice. And also this stone will cause an inflammation therefore the gallbladder swells up and therefore you will be able to palpate the gallbladder in this case as well. So these are the exceptions when the gallbladder is palpable but the cause is stones. Another exception to Coeser's law is that the gallbladder is not palpable, but it is a carcinoma. So let's say if the carcinoma is above the cystic duct, such as a Klatskin tumor. This is a tumor at the porta hepatis. In this case, there will be no accumulation of fluid in the gallbladder, so it will not be palpable. Only the structures above the obstruction will dilate. So a summary of Coeser's law Coase's law states that in a patient with obstructive jaundice, if the gallbladder is palpable, then the cause of the jaundice is unlikely to be due to gallstones. Exceptions to this law are, firstly, if there are primary common bile duct stones, second, if there are two stones, one obstructing the common bile duct and one in the gallbladder, Mirizzi syndrome, that is in people who have a short cystic duct obstructed with a stone, and in carcinomas above the cystic duct, like a Klatskin tumor. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel.